healthcare. It's one of the most hotly debated personal and political topics of the decade. The cost of care, the concern over coverage, the needs of an aging population. All of this can be so overwhelming, heartbreaking, and frustrating. There is, however, a silver lining. It's in the form of technology that most will never see, but today you will. This is technology that not only enables better health care at lower costs, but also helps the health care system care for more patients and with better outcomes. Joining us from GE Healthcare Partners and Tampa General Hospital with more on this amazing command center technology are Jeff Terry, CEO Clinical Command Centers, GE Healthcare Partners, and Peter Chang, MD, Vice President, Care Transitions, and Chief Medical Informatics Officer at Tampa General. Welcome, gentlemen, to Tech Impact. Thanks, Mark. We really appreciate you having us. Thank you very much. Just talking about this conjures up visuals from television and movies, but this is the real deal and beyond life-changing for many. So let's start with the basics. Why a clinical command center? Clinical command centers are needed because healthcare is so important and so personal, but also mind-bogglingly complex. Caregivers do amazing work, but without something like a clinical command center, it's virtually impossible to put all the data to work quickly enough to make a difference for patients in the moments that matter. Are these command centers focused on a specific area, say, for example, high risk or ICU patients? Or is the wingspan, so to speak, far more reaching throughout a facility and specific to a certain patient criteria? Specifically for TGH, we sought out a system to not only improve operational efficiency, but also support an environment for high quality individualized patient care. We've seen the results from other command centers at Johns Hopkins, Oregon Health University Systems, and Humber River. And we believe we can take this concept even further for patients here at Tampa General. We think this concept can make a difference for many aspects of patient care. GE clinical command centers are already making a difference in departments, hospital-wide, and between hospitals, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. From what I understand, this is very advanced technology that processes literally hundreds of thousands of messages regarding patients on a daily basis. Is that right? That's right. Here at Tampa General, we're processing about five messages every second or half a million every day, and that will only increase as more AI apps come online. The AI connects the dots between the different data streams, develops findings and recommendations that are then presented to command center staff, and you see some of that behind me in apps that are more or less like what you'd expect on your smartphone. How does your system help patients, and is this different from what other companies are introducing with AI in healthcare? The center will house team members from multiple different departments in one location. This will allow us to use real-time analytics and artificial intelligence to help reduce patient wait times, match staffing with demand, and enhance the operational efficiencies here at Tampa General. What's different with GE Clinical Command Centers is connecting the dots between the massive streams of data coming out of software and machines, using natural language processing and computer vision to extract more value from the data, and using machine learning to predict or spot patterns, all to help clinicians and team members make better decisions more quickly. What's the most important message that you'd like to convey regarding GE Clinical Command Centers? The possibilities with clinical command centers are virtually endless. Pathways, staffing, disease management, long-term care, there's so much work to do. And importantly, this isn't technology for technology's sake. This is technology to help real caregivers address real problems in the moments that matter. And in the end, that enables better care for patients, and for families, and of course, that's all of us. Thank you, Peter and Jeffrey. Very exciting technology. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Thank you. Now, should you have any questions regarding this segment, please visit www.gehealthcare.partners forward slash CC or log on to techimpact.tv.